for loving us. Thank you for saving us. Thank you mighty God for taking our souls away from death. Thank you for preserving our feet even from fall. Thank you because you did not allow our eyes to bring out tears. This is only your mercy. And this is only you that can do all this in our lives. We thank you, mighty God, the giver of life. Be thou glorified, be thou exalted. In our individual lives this morning, in our individual families and in abundant life chapel family this morning, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask, O oh God, that today, you will deliver souls. You will save souls. You will heal your people. No one will share your glory. All glory, all majesty, all dominion shall be returned unto you. Thank you, most high God. Take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Our Bible reading we shall take from the book of Psalm 13 Psalm 13 from verse 1 to 6 Psalm 13 How long wilt thou forget me O Lord forever How long wilt thou hide thy face from me How long shall I say cancel in my soul having sorrow in my heart daily How long shall my enemy be exalted over me. Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemy say, I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading and hearing of his word in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, mainly, we want to pray. We want to pray. And before the message, Whatever position that is convenient for you, 
you can use. But I want you to plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon yourself. I want you to plead that precious blood because you will touch areas that does not want to be touched this morning. And as our God liveth, as our God reigneth, every yoke shall be broken today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I want you to plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon yourself, upon your children. I want you to plead this precious blood upon yourself that God in his infinite mercies, he will appear unto you. He will show you mercy. He, that blood that speaks great and mighty things will cleanse you today. That blood will purify you today and it will make you to stand forever in the name that is above all names. Plead that blood of Jesus. Plead that blood. That blood that speaks great and mighty things. He will speak great things on your behalf today. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. As we, were, as we have seen in your bulletin the topic of our message this morning is overcoming household wickedness in prayer. Let us be seated in his awesome presence. Thank you for honoring God. Overcoming household wickedness in prayer. That is the only way that you can overcome wickedness in communing with your God. The God that created the heavens and the earth. The God that gave you breath of life. The God of the universe. Not any God, the small g God, but the God of heavens. The God that made you fearfully and wonderfully in his own image. This is the only God that can save us. This is the only God that can deliver us from the snare of the fowler. And he will surely do it today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is wickedness in this world. We know this. The way we started from the watch night service, we talked about this wickedness that rules and reigns in the second heaven. We know this. But today, as our God liveth, that is the builder and the lifter of your souls, is the master, is the creator. Today, you will be released from whatever is holding you down. Whatever is holding you in captivity. Whatever is that yoke of the enemy. Jehovah himself will break every yoke today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There are battles of life. And they are in different categories. But whatever category they are. Our God will destroy them today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every battle, they differ from one another. There are some household wickedness. And this household wickedness, you know, if in your family you are holding on to one person, and everybody come to beg you, beg you, beg you. And you are still resisting. The Bible calls you a wicked person. You are wicked. If you are not wicked, you will remember that where were you before Jesus Christ paid the price for saving you? If you are holding on to somebody that has offended you a year ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, the Bible calls you a wicked person. And wickedness and witchcraft are the same thing. Because the same spirit controls the two of them. I'm sure God of heaven will deliver you yourself today from witchcraft. 
God will deliver you from wickedness. God will deliver you from unforgiveness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you refuse to forgive, you are wicked. Because in as much as you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, He forgives you totally. And He brings you into His family. So why will you hold somebody captive and you will not let go? These wicked people, they don't let go easily. Beg them, beg them, beg them. They are still saying the same thing. Today will be the end of such. Even to those watching online and those on site. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There can be cooperation that exists in your family and with an enemy outside. The first one, there can be enemy inside within the family. The second one, there can be enemy outside, but the enemy outside will not operate by itself. It will need somebody from inside. So there can be cooperation that exists in the family and, uh, and the family uh, enemy outside. But if you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I assure you, your life is hid in Him. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, as you pray, as if you mean it, every evil, every agenda of the enemy in your life shall be revealed and shall be destroyed today. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If only you can pray. And I believe you will pray today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How do these wicked people, how do they function? How do they function? Some by demonic power. By demonic power. Luke 6. Luke 6 verse 9 and 11. Luke 6 verse 9 and 11. Then said Jesus unto them, I will ask you one thing. Is it lawful on a Sabbath day to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Verse 11. And they were filled with madness. And they were filled with madness and communed with one another what they might do to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ saw this man that needed help and they were complaining already. They were murmuring already. Oh, he wants to do this on the Sabbath. He wants to do that on the Sabbath. And because of that, they have inclination towards Jesus Christ. What is he doing? The Bible recorded that their heart was filled with madness. And they commune with each other. What shall we do to Jesus Christ? It does not matter. You don't have to offend these people. Jesus Christ did not offend them. Jesus was about doing good to somebody that needed it. And this, they were offended. Because they saw what Jesus Christ was about to do. You don't have to offend them. You don't have to do anything for them before they become envious of you. Before they gather together because of you. They come to manipulate. To destroy. They will not destroy your life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But thank God, Jesus Christ has come to give us life. And to give it to us in abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, I prophesy upon your life, you will not be destroyed by any hand of the enemy, by anyone that says you are not doing it well in their sight. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Psalm 74 and verse 20. Psalm 74 and verse 20 say, Have respect unto the covenant. For the darkness of the earth 
are full of the habitation of cruelty. I'm sure you still remember that verse because I've been saying it almost every week since the beginning of this month. The NIV says, have regard for your covenant because hunts of violence fill the pl dark places of the land. Habitation of cruelty. Where they think of nothing else but wickedness. Where they think of nothing else but communing together. How to hurt you. But thank God for the power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That can and that will destroy all that they have done in your life today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to jump on your feet and say this prayer. Let every evil fire towards me be shaken out today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let every evil fire towards me be shaken out today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our prayer today is not silent prayer. It's a prayer that you must speak loud. Let the devil hear you very clearly. Today is every evil that is fired towards you in the name that is above all names they will be shaking out they will be shaking out they will be shaking out of my life today they will be shaking out of the life of my children today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I want you to open your mouth open your mouth and pray every evil walk every walk of the enemy towards your life towards your children shall be shaking off shall be shaking off shall be shaking off today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are crying unto you. Because your word says, you have exalted the name of Jesus above every other name. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every name must bow. Every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of things in heaven and things on earth and things beneath the earth. Therefore, let every wickedness be shaken. Let every wickedness that be shaken out of my life. Let them be shaken out of my life today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the life of my children, let wickedness be shaken out. In the life of my grandchildren, let wickedness be shaken out. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's be seated for a minute. In some families, some wicked people exist. And they will say, you will not excel in life. You will not make it in life. As if they are the creator. The final say is with the Lord God Almighty. So whoever in your family, whoever at your workplace, whoever is saying you will not excel in life. Tell them they are talking rubbish. If God has not said it, no one can say it. It will not come. It, it, it will affect in your life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some will tell you. Oh you will remain barren all the days of your life. Some will say. Oh you will not get married. As our God liveth. The yoke is broken today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to pray this prayer. If you don't mind you can be on your feet. Ah. Let us do this prayer seriously today. Because God is doing something. God is moving in that situation today. Let us pray. Lord God, scatter every calabash monitoring my life. Every calabash that is monitoring my family. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, scatter. Scatter. Destroy every monitoring calabash that is monitoring my life that is monitoring my family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Father break every evil mirror every evil mirror that is monitoring my life break them today break them today break them today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ break them today break them today break them today Break them today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
let us pray whatever is being used in the negative realm in the habitation of wickedness let them be destroyed and scattered today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ whatever is being used in the negative realm in the habitation of wickedness let them be destroyed let them be scattered today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ every wickedness in the habitation of cruelty let them be destroyed let them be destroyed in Jesus mighty name let us pray every tongue that say I will not remain I will remain single that I will remain barren hear the word of God today your time is all your time is all because your garden is not of the Lord hey you will fall you will fall you will fall you will fall for my sake in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the garden is not of the Lord. Any garden is not of the Lord. Their cancer will not hold. Their cancer will not hold. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Genesis 37 verse 18 says, And when they saw him from afar, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. That is the story of Joseph and his brethren. I want you to pray this prayer today. Every meeting held in my absence, Lord put confusion in their midst. Every conspiracy against my life, Lord make it not to hold. Make it not to have any effect over my life, over the life of my children today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, every meeting that is held in my absence, like the brothers of Joseph, just looking at him coming, they reached a compromise that we will kill him. Oh, every gathering that is not of the Lord, concerning your life, concerning your family, it will not hold. Their cancer will not hold. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us be seated. My brethren, these days, we are, uh, it is like before things happen in our life, we start, we, we, we quickly go on Facebook, we quickly go on Instagram. When that thing is still in incubation period, I want you to know from today when things are, when God has not blown it out, because when the hand of God is already in it, there is nothing that the enemy can do about it again. But don't announce what God is doing for you when it's not fully established. There are some people there they laugh with you. You think they are your best friends. Hey! Think twice. Think twice. They don't want you to prosper. They don't want you to make it in life. These are the wicked people. The second heaven does contain the habitation of cruelty. But there are some people that they must go into before they start to manifest in the way that they want your life to be. Don't announce things when they are in incubation period. Don't announce it. Brothers of Joseph, they want to terminate his dream. They want to terminate because Joseph, thinking I am within my brethren, he thinks he can say anything. But behold, his own brothers, they became envious of him that they wanted to kill him. That which God will do for you will not bring calamity over your life, will not bring destruction unto your family. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, they will see you they will see you achieve your God-given victory. Your God-given destiny. You will get it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This wicked people, they will see the manifestation of God. The glory of God in your life. In the life of your children. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. But mind you, my brethren. When God starts to manifest his glory. 
in your life. Don't fight for yourself. Don't be on the defense. Don't be angry. Don't murmur. But start to praise God. Because it is only God that loves you more than you think or imagine. Start to praise God. And see how God will glorify himself in your life. It does not matter what the wicked people do. When you start to praise God, they will not have any hold over your life. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want us to pray. Let us be on our feet. Sorry for the going up and down today, but it is a serious matter. It is a serious matter. Let us pray. If these wicked people, if they remain unrepentant and stubborn, Oh God, arise and deal with them in your own way. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, if they remain unrepentant and stubborn, oh Lord, arise and deal with them in your own way. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, arise, arise for my sake, arise for the sake of my children, oh God. If these wicked people, if they remain unrepentant, if they remain stubborn, arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Arise, O oh God. Deal with them in your own way. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will see God do great and mighty things in my life. And they will not be able to afflict me. In the name of Jesus Christ. They will not be able to afflict me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, build the edge of fire. Build the edge of fire around me, around my children, around my grandchildren. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, build the edge of fire around me and be my glory. Be my God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Acts of Apostles 7. Acts of Apostles 7, verse 9 and 10. The Bible says, and the patriarchs moved with envy sold Joseph into Egypt but God was with him but God was with him and delivered him out of all this affliction and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh king of Egypt and he made him governor over Egypt and all his household I want you to pray as in the life of Joseph May God factor set me free. You know, it does not matter. You don't have to offend them. You don't have to do anything evil to them. Joseph did not offend his brothers. He did not do any evil towards them. But the factor of God came up for him. I want you to cry to God today. Let God factor speak for me. Let God factor speak on my behalf. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you arise, even for Joseph in those days, oh God, may God factor set me free from the hand of the wicked ones today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Let God factor set me free from the hand of the wicked ones today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father. Build your wall of fire around me. Build your wall of fire around me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Because you always answer me. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us be seated. In Jesus' name. Leah and Rachel, they were sisters. Leah and Rachel, they were sisters. But envy came. You can read Genesis 30 from verse 1 to 10. Envy came. Jealousy came. And you know what happened between the two of them. Envy and jealousy. It, it, it's a deadly weapon. Look at Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. 
Numbers 12 verses 1 to 10. Miriam, Aaron, and Moses. Why will Miriam speak against his own brother? But Satan can use anyone. Satan, Satan can use the mouth of anyone to do evil. This is the same Miriam that was watching Moses when the mother put him in a bassinet by the riverside. It is the same Miriam that now says in Numbers 12 verse 2 as God indeed spoken unto through Moses has he not spoken through us also and God had them as they were speaking blasphemy as they were speaking blasphemy the Lord had them and the Bible recorded that leprosy came upon Miriam immediately you know the story this is Moses, Miriam and Aaron they are all siblings of the same parents I want you to pray this prayer Every conspiracy against me shall not stand. It shall be terminated today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every conspiracy from the pit of hell against my life, against my children, against my grandchildren, against my home will not stand. Every conspiracy from the pit of hell will not stand in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we are right. Every conspiracy, Lord, it shall not stand. It shall be terminated today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, O oh Lord, deal with every enemy from within and from outside. That is looking for my fall. Lord, deal with them. Lord, deal with them. Lord, deal with them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone feeding the enemy outside with information concerning my life. Lord, deliver me. Deliver me from every household enemy today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, deliver me. Deliver me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Look at the life of Jesus Christ. Judas Iscariot is part of the twelve. He's part of the twelve. He was with Jesus in his ministry for three solid years. He was the treasurer. But who betrayed Jesus? It's this Judas. Today, I want you to pray to God. I want you to pray. Psalm 7 verse 9 says let every wickedness of the wicked come to an end but establish the just for the righteous God try the hearts and reigns prayer let the wickedness in my home come to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ let the wickedness let it come to an end let the wickedness come to an end today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ let every manipulation every manipulation of the enemy let every evil word spoken every evil word spoken into my life, into my future let them come to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ every manipulation of the enemy, let them come to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 10 Psalm 10 verse 15 Break the arm of the wicked And the evil man Seek out the wickedness Till thou find none Prayer Arise my father and God In your anger Break the arm of the wicked And the wicked In my life And the wicked in the life of my children Break them down Break them down today Father arise Arise oh God in your anger break the arm of the wicked break the arm of the wicked break the arm of the wicked oh lord 
until I find them no more. Destroy them. Destroy them. Break their arm. Break their arm. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until I find no more. Destroy them. Break them. Every invisible enemy that is fighting me, you are paralyzed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every invisible enemy that is fighting me, that is fighting my family, you are paralyzed. You are paralyzed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All captives, all captives, in under the voice of my son this morning, you are released from the hand of the wicked. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we withdraw all that God has created, the sun, the moon, the stars, to start to work against the wicked. Even from today, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let the moon, the sun, the moon, the stars, let them start to walk against the wicked in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs 21, Proverbs 21 and verse 12 says, The righteous God wisely considers the house of the wicked, overthrowing the wicked for their wickedness. Prayer, whoever is fomenting wickedness, may God overthrow them. May God overthrow them. May God overthrow them. Everyone that is fomenting trouble. Everyone that is fomenting wickedness in my life, into my in the life of my children. The, all the Allah Abalists that have been consulted. Lord, overthrow them. Overthrow their altar. Overthrow them. Overthrow their altar. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Every COVID. Every COVID. Every evil altar. Hey, we break you down in the name of Jesus. Every wicked one. Hey, loose your hand. Loose your hand. We overthrow you in the name of Jesus. We overthrow you in the name of Jesus. We overthrow you. Lord, undo whatever they have done or spoken into my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, undo whatever. They have done or, or spoken into my life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I know what God cannot do does not exist. Therefore, manifest your power. Manifest your glory in my life. Manifest your power. Manifest your glory in my life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, send your fire to wherever the enemy has eaten my name. Wherever they have eaten my picture. Wherever they eat the picture of my children. Almighty God, send your fire. Send your fire. Send your fire. Let it consume and destroy every agenda of the enemy. Whatever they want to use against me, let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. In Jesus mighty name we pray amen let every invisible enemy that is fighting me let them be paralyzed in the name of our lord jesus christ thank you mighty god thank you ancient of this to you mighty god alone be the glory to you mighty god alone be the honor to you mighty god alone be the adoration take all the glory tonight Take all the glory today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want you to put your right hand upon your chest. And I want to, whatever is that thing that you think holds you in captivity. Whatever is that bondage that you think you are in, cry to the Lord. Speak to the Lord again. Be specific about that which you desire of the Lord. Today, you are totally and completely delivered from all things that enemy is planning towards your life towards your children, towards your family. 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be fruitful. You shall move forward. From today, you become unstoppable. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, everything that has been holding you down, the Lord has removed their hand off you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, everything and all things that is holding you captive, they have been destroyed by the power from on high today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, go forth this week and start to do those things that you think you cannot do before. If it is any sickness, you are free from that sickness in the name that has been exalted above every other name. If it is any weakness, any part of your body, the Lord has healed you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If your salvation, if it is not secure, if you are not sure, today God is restoring you into his family. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you become untouchable. You become untouchable. You become untouchable from the pit of hell, from the hand of the enemy, from the wicked one. You become untouchable even from today in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty God. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Jehovah, we thank you. Mighty God, we exalt you. There is none like you. What a great confidence we have in you, oh God. What a great confidence we have, we have in you, our Father and our Creator. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, because we know we have confidence that there's nothing that is difficult for you to do. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, because the Egyptians that we saw, even up till this morning, we will not see again all the days of our life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, because we have confidence that you are here with us. Even with all your children that are watching online, you are in their houses with them today. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, because every prayer that we have spoken forth with our mouth today, thank you because you have heard. Thank you because you will do, even beyond our expectations. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to you, Almighty God, alone be the glory. Thank you, mighty God. We commit our lives afresh unto you, O God. As we go, even from this sanctuary, let us go from your presence into your presence. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will not have any evil breaking news in our homes this week and all the days of our life. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask, O oh God, that your spirit will guide us. Your spirit will protect us. Your, pro your protection will not be taken away from our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Take all the glory, O oh God. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.